Hi guys, this is Bukinder2. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to connect Xbox 360 controller to your PC. So this is a controller that we got. For In order to connect this to your PC, you would need a receiver. So what we got to do, the first step is to connect this receiver to the PC using a USB port. So first thing first, get this USB port and connect it to your PC using a USB port as I'm doing now. So after you connect your receiver, your computer should detect it. This shouldn't take long time. It says it was a ready unknown device. As you can see, it's set up and ready to go. Click on it. So it didn't fully detect it. It calls it unknown device. Step one, press window with X button together and these options will open and then you select device manager. You could also do it by uh, clicking or pressing window button and then typing device manager. Once it's done, uh, it becomes obvious that this is the one uh, which causes the problem. Other devices and unknown device and it can't detect our uh, controller. So what you got to do is click on it, right click on it then and then say scan for hardware changes. It did and it couldn't find anything. So what you have to do next is to right click on it again and click on update driver. First click on search for automatic update drivers. And Windows couldn't find for any driver. So what you got to do next is to right click on it and then click again on update driver. And this time, rather than saying search automatically, click on Bruce Browse My Computer for Driver Software. And then say, let me pick up from a, uh, available drivers on my p computer. Then click on that. Then go somewhere near to the bottom of the list. You will see this Xbox 360 peripherals. You have to then uh, click on it and select it in a way and then click next. And you can see there are uh, various different ones. So what you have to click on is Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows and then click on next. Installing this device driver is not recommended because Windows cannot verify its compatibility with your hardware. But anyways, you didn't find yourself the unknown device. Hence, you have no other choice other than saying, yes, I'm happy to go ahead installing this. Once you install it, Windows will say, Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Windows has finished installing the drivers for the this device. So Xbox 360 wireless is now detected. So if you close that and now the other is being removed and now at the bottom you see Xbox 360 peripherals and it's kind of installed it. So next step. So next thing to do is that this is now plugged in into your USB port. So you need to press a button on top of this. Then this will start to flash. Then you have to keep holding this button. After pressing the thing to start it, hold it, and then it will have to go like this. It's almost for around 20 seconds you need to hold it until it will stop and detect. You see, it stopped and now it's fixed. That means now this is connected, guys. This is connected. So you can see the light is on in here, one corner, that means now this is connected and it works. So I hope now you learn how to fix your 
uh, Xbox 360 controller to your Windows 10 and it works like a charm and if, whenever you will have this problem again don't forget to come to this video and learn how to solve it and if this helped you solve the problem don't forget to share subscribe put a thumbs up and I will see you next time have a nice day thank you bye